This video, I'm going to be breaking down a little tight slots halfback week mini scheme for you guys. If you want to get my full offensive ebook on this, it's available by becoming a member of my school.com community. It's only $10 to become a member of that site, and it's going to get you access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks, both for Madden and for college football. If you want to sign up for that, I guarantee it's going to get you right on both games. The link is going to be in the description below. Now, the audibles we're going to set for the tight slots halfback week mini scheme is we're going to have the play post world drag in here. We're going to have the play inside zone, four verticals, and mesh spot. If you wanted to, you could put the play bench in here. But I like to have a run just in case they're giving me a really good look to run. Now, the trick when running tight slots in Madden is that it's really typically best if you're going to go ahead and audible into it from the gun bunch. The cool part about this gun bunch in the Cincinnati Bengals offensive playbook is it has plays like smash return. It also has verts half back under, PA dig fork, has some other really underrated plays such as Z spot and go. And it also has uh, the play corner out dig, dig return. It has a kind of an underrated bunch. A lot of people are kind of sleeping on this. So anyways, I love to be able just to come out and, you know, verts or whatever. I want to come out in a quick snap bunch play. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be audibling into the offense over here. Now, the real cool part about this offense is it's kind of set up perfectly for you. And the reason why is because you want to be running your tight slots with your running back to the short side pretty much the majority of the time. Now, our first setup we're going to be going over is one of the best flood concepts in Madden. It's going to actually be the play called Flood. So what we're going to do is we're just going to audible. Actually, I think I totally screwed up something. Let me, let me fix that. Maybe, we, maybe we're not going to be able to use Inside Zone. Forgot about Flood to put in here. So we're going to put Flood in here and make sure we can always audible into that. And then you can put uh, Post Will Drag here as well. So you are going to have to get rid of your run play, which is not that big of a deal because running the ball is kind of overrated. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to audible over to the play flood. The setup is we're going to streak our left side receiver, and then we're going to essentially run the play co route combo just like this. So what you're going to see is you're going to be looking for this corner route over here on the sideline. Super good. It's going to beat any kind of cover four or cover three, which is what makes this offense super effective. So what makes flood such a good play in Madden is that they're not going to really be able to play cover three or cover four, which is the kind of the meta. So what I like to tell people is this is a combo that's going to force the opponent to have to basically get out of a cover three or cover four coverage. And if you have the slot apprentice or outside hot run master ability, you can go ahead and put this guy on a slot apprentice post, which let's say that their user decides, hey, I'm going to go take this, this corner route. Well, then what you're going to see is this tight end is going to come open right in the middle of the field. You're going to be able to check down to him or you're going to have your post over the middle. So this does a really good job of kind of funneling your opponent into coverages that are going to be problematic for them, such as cover two. So what, if your opponent is deciding that they're going to run and run kind of maybe like a double Mabel coverage uh, to take away the high low on the left side, this is where this is one of my favorite route combinations to manipulate that. What we're going to do is we're going to call the play flood. We're going to put the tight end on a tight end apprentice corner. We're going to put the outside tight receiver on a little uh, like flat route. And then we're just going to snap the ball. You can also block your running back if you want. What you're going to see is that this skinny post is going to basically split the cover two and you're going to be able to hit it up and over the top for a pretty big play. So as you can see, we can kind of very quickly manipulate a lot of the different ways that they want to be able to defend us with some very basic hot routes that really don't even necessarily require a ton of abilities. At this point in the year, it's fairly simple to get these. Now, what they're going to start to do is they're going to start to go into a lot of double flat once they start to see that base press cover four is really not going to work. So what a lot of people like to do against tight is they're going to be 30s and 5s, and they're going to basically try to play some maximum coverage defense. While this is a good idea in theory, it's not going to really work for this. And the reason why is because they're going to do one of two things. The first thing that they're going to do is they're going to play a double Mabel coverage with the inside quarters. Now, the reason for the inside quarters is because this is going to allow them to have a chance at being able to stop the deep post route that I just showed you against double flat. So as you can see here, see how the inside quarter kind of plays it pretty well, and we're really not able to throw that. Okay. So what we're going to do to manipulate that is we are going to go to the play mesh spot. It's one of the best man beating plays in Madden 24. What we're going to do is we're going to Texas route our running back. We're going to streak our solo outside receiver, and we're going to block our tight end. So what we're going to do, and again, specifically we're doing this primarily to attack the double flat, especially when they're utilizing these inside quarters. What this is going to do is this post route is going to be able to clear that 30-yard cloud, 
and I, I had to I need to wait on that just a little bit longer. That post rod is going to be able to clear that 30 yard cloud flap that a lot of people like to run, especially out of a base alignment. And whenever this is another really underrated tip, whenever you're forcing them to run double Mabel coverage, this this coverage is going to allow you oftentimes to have plenty of time in the pocket. So you're going to have plenty of time for the user to get sucked down onto the running back Texas pattern. And as you see, you can throw this up and over the top of a 30 yard cloud, even if they base press and back, back off the outside corners. So what they're going to have to start to do to defend that is they're going to have to have this deep half on left. This is where the play post wheel drag comes in. Post row drags are super good setup because it's going to look very similar to what uh, to our play uh, to our first play out of flood, our second set out of flood. What we're going to do is we're going to streak the running back. We're going to streak the outside right receiver, and then if you have a tight end apprentice, I like the tight end apprentice corner. If you don't have tight end apprentice, feel free to just put an out route and turn this into almost like a Durham setup. What you're going to see here on the left hand side is the user is going to have to go to that running back streak which is gonna allow this post route to be able to manipulate that quarter and deep cloud flat. And as you can see, we're able to hit this big play against this defense. So now, as you think about this through, they're gonna get back into that double flat. And essentially the user is going to kinda, of, you know, basically kinda of peel back off if he sees any deep post route. So what I like to do in, in, in this situation, we'll go back to it. It's gonna go back to the play flood. We're going to corner route our tight end. And then if you have a slot apprentice corner, you can actually run the double corner concept out of this as well, which is a super underrated route combination from tight. As you see, that safety gets pulled super well, and this is going to be a nice one play score for you. Another thing that I like to do out of this, again, as we kind of work through this, if you think about it, what are they going to have to do? Typically, what they're going to probably do as we kind of work through some of these coverages is they're going to go to a double flat on the left-hand side and essentially almost like a cover six or a quarter, quarter, half coverage on the back end to be able to defend this. So what I like to do to manipulate that coverage is we're going to go to flood. We're going to go back to that double corner variation of flood. And what you're going to see here is that this tight end apprentice short corner is gonna get in a perfect spot to be able to manipulate the cover four coverage. Super, super simple and super effective route combination. And so as we also start to get this going, you're gonna notice that the middle of the field is going to become increasingly more available uh, for manipulation. So how would we like to manipulate them in the middle of the field? Back to that other post wheel drag setup for just a second here. This is basically Durham, if you think about it practically. The wheel route on the left side is our snap throw read. The user, if he decides to go use the post, he's gonna vacate the middle of the field and you're gonna be able to throw this running back route for a possession catch and a big play. Now, most people at this point in the year, they realize that it's not very smart to run man coverage against this formation. But if they do wanna run man coverage on you, uh, all you have to do is go to the play mesh spot you're going to smart route the post, streak that left side receiver, Texas route that back setup. And this is a really simple and effective and reliable man beating route combination where one of those three routes is pretty much always going to get open for you. I want to thank you guys for checking out my little tight slots mini scheme here. If you guys want to get my full tight slots offensive ebook, the link is going to be down in the description below. Head over to school.com slash Cody Ballard to join our site and get access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks for both Madden and college football. You can sign up by clicking the link down in the description below.